This week, there's work to be done in a native garden, and Pokemon are taking over Nankin Mills. You can tour some of the historic areas of our city by trolley, and the Craft Beer and Wine Festival returns. All that and more, this week in Westland. It might seem like an odd pairing, but on Friday afternoon, Nankin Mills and Pokemon intersect. The special Poke Park event runs from 4 to 6 p.m. on September 15th. Registered players will go on a hike with a naturalist and a Pokemon expert. They will learn about the various Pokemon that appear in Heinz Park and the animals that inspire them, all while playing Pokemon Go. You will also get information on various landmarks that the game takes you to in the park. To register, please visit waynecounty.com or call 734-261-1990. The Westland Police Department is always looking for innovative ways to protect and serve our residents. For the past four years, they have hosted a special event for a very specific group. That tradition continues this Saturday. A Day for You welcomes people with disabilities and their families to a special tour of the police department. Tours will be held from 1 to 3 p.m. and will allow guests to see how the department operates, get up close views of police cars and motorcycles, meet the canine officers, and more. For those who have sensory issues, there will be smaller group size tours with no lights and sirens from 10 a.m. until noon. These sensory tours must be reserved in advance for the September 16th event. Once a month, volunteers gather at the Merriman Hollow inside Heinz Park to do some routine maintenance. This Saturday, workers will be focusing their efforts on the native pollinator garden in the hollow. All ages are welcome to come and participate from 9 a.m. until noon. Be sure to dress for the weather and outdoor gardening work. Bring work gloves, gardening tools, sunscreen, bug spray, and something to drink. To get to the site, access Heinz Park from Ann Arbor Trail just north of the entrance to the park. More details are available from the Friends of the Rouge on their website at therouge.org. The Westland Historic Village Park is pleased to present the second annual Westland Nankin Mills Trolley Tour. This three-hour excursion will take riders to various points of interest in and around what was Nankin Mills. Guided stops include the Perrinville Schoolhouse, historic neighborhoods, museums, and more. Those who took the tour last year gave it rave reviews and everybody said they learned many new things about their hometown. Tickets must be purchased in advance and are available through Facebook or by going to eventbrite.com. The tour will begin at 9 a.m. Saturday morning at the Historic Village Park located at 857 North Wayne Road. Saturday also brings the return of Westland's Craft Beer and Wine Festival. From 5 to 10 p.m. at Central City Park, attendees can sample a variety of craft beers and wines. There will be over 150 drinks to choose from. Your entry gets you tickets for 12 sample size drinks, a commemorative cup, and a gift bag with other swag and coupons from some of the breweries and local businesses. There will also be live entertainment from the Dave Hamilton Band and food vendors will also be on site. Tickets are available at the event but you can get them at a discount if you order online at westlandbeerfest.com. This week on WLND, Blues, Brews, and Barbecue Concert Series. The Chris Canis Band closed down this year's event with this high energy performance. Once again, the city of Westland is making sure that all of our veterans have a traditional holiday meal this Thanksgiving. Thanks to the generosity of many people and the Wayne Ford Civic League, Veterans, surviving spouses, and families of active duty service members are all eligible. Recipients will take home a turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, gravy, cranberry sauce, and more. There's enough to feed a family of six to eight people. All you have to do is register online at cityofwestland.com. You can also call 734-467-3200 
or pick up a registration form at the greeter desk inside Westland City Hall. You need to do this before November 11th in order to be able to pick up your food at the Civic League on November 18th. That's it for this week. Join us next week for details on Fall Fest at the Farmer's Market and the annual Native American Heritage Day at Heinz Park. Don't forget to visit our website at cityofwestland.com and check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Thanks for watching.